Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's another day here. Bobby's backyard. Well, Copart actually. Nice G wagon right there. Tesla. And a couple of other transporters here. And me with the ML and the trailer. So let's see what we get today. We should be coming around the corner pretty soon. Here it comes. There it is. Mercedes CLK. All right, there it is. Let's uh, load it up. Guys, this thing is cleaner than I thought. I mean, the only effed up part, they cut this up to try to get in the trunk. I tried the key already, it doesn't work. That's why they did that. Damn, all right. Come inside, this is the first time I'm looking at it. I bought this side unseen. So you and I, us guys are going through it together. Not bad at all. What the hell is this fender? I'm leaving this here, man. This ain't my fender. I don't even think this is my trunk liner. I'll keep the trunk liner just in case it's mine, but I doubt it. And that fender is not mine. I'm throwing that out. Put the e-brake on. Missing the emblem. I already bought that. That's on the way. Here's that nice V8. So this is what went wrong. Nice. Alternator's good. Water pump spins, idler spins, ah, the adjuster, there it is right down there, the adjuster busted, AC, power steering moves, oh, this thing runs, that's all that happened, and I think the belt's still good, yep, belt's still good, I just need an adjuster, I'll buy that crap today, alright guys, let's finish up loading it, and we'll get into it more in detail about the AMG wheels and everything. But yeah, let's get this home. And we're back. I'm at home. Delivered. No problem. Yeah, this is not the best way to tow a vehicle. Weight distribution is wrong. I'm only 10 miles away from Copart. So that's why I tow it this way. Ask me how I know that you can't tow this way. I went to Santa Paula one time to pick up that M45 that we got whew, about two, three years ago. Yeah, that was a long drive home, 45 all the way home. If we went faster than that, car started swaying. So, yeah, so that was that. And all right, so, all right, so let's get back on the car. Little ding right there. I could probably take that out, not a problem. It has a slight little dent right here. I'm gonna see if I can get the, uh, like I did on the Nissan Sentra, put a ball back there and boop, pop it out. Might do the same for that over there. And then let's talk about the AMG package. I guess this year you can uh, get the AMG package, but without the AMG engine. So that's what this is. It's, uh, it's a soft top convertible, not the greatest shape. It does lift. Look at that. I'm gonna have to re-glue it or something, right? Give me some suggestions on what to do on that. Same thing. As you can see, I don't think I don't think you can see it, but yeah, you can see daylight doesn't quite sit flush. So I don't know what's going on there. And then some more right here. Eh, but hey, it's an 03. I mean, shoot, it's 20 years old. So let's see if we can get into this. Let's unload it. Ah, oh, I didn't see that tail light. No. Uh, all right. Well. I'm gonna get a trunk. I found one at LKQ. It's a blue one, but whatever. I'll get that. And the tail light, I guess, if it's still there. There's two of them there. Local. Got that big old muffler. And then, if you didn't tell, it is a V8 
430. I got a muffler for this thing. This thing's gonna sound good. And as you can tell also, freaking windows down. And we just had Hurricane, uh, what, Hillary? So I got like two inches of rain in here. So I pretty much got a flooded car. Um, it doesn't seem wet in here, but I know there's there's got to be some water in here. I mean, there was two inches. Yeah, see, it's a little bit wet. Window was down. Damn. All right, but like I said, we already saw the interior. Got a little rip right here. Could probably be stitched back. I'm just probably paint it black just so it'll match. And then no, two little rips on the passenger. Oh, yeah, right there, too. Looks like it's common. The sun probably messes up the, the sewing threads and just rips. But other than that, let's see what's in the glove. Like I said, this is, I bought this side on scene. We're going through this together. Damn, no books, no nothing. Damn. I hate when they don't include the books. I mean, at least a cup holders and all that work. Oh, no, it ain't. It's freaking missing. As always. That's the top. Windows. Emergency. ESP. I got the keys in my wallet. Oh, yeah. This is the one that folds down. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything in here? Ew. What's in here? Uh, just some toilet paper. Nothing. Uh, here's the. There's that. Let's open the hood again. Oh man, let me put that. No, that's just the way it is, it ripped. Uh, let me take off the lights. I'll be right back. We'll lift up the hood right now. Got the hood open. Uh, yeah, this engine needs to be clean pretty good. It doesn't look too bad under here though. It's got coolant, it's got oil. Um, I know the dipstick's here, but there's probably nothing there to dipstick. Yeah, there's probably nothing there. And then, yeah, this is what broke. Yep. This is the adjuster pulley. Like I said, it's down there. Down in that area. Here's the belt. The belt's still intact. I'll probably use it just to test drive it. And here's the uh, snorkels for the air intake and the engine cover. All right, well, let's see if this thing runs because check this out. I got the trunk open. It was quite easy. I just had to push this over. Oh, I closed it again. No. Eh, I'll open it right now. Yeah, you just got to... Uh force it up I got I need two hands for this let me open it up again we got it open ah, CD changer I wonder if it's got anything in it doubt it nope who uses CDs man alright put that in there alright let's hook up a jump let's see what happens and see what it does or doesn't do man am I scared ah this needs to be up, I think, for the yeah, for the top to work. Whoa, 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 whoa! That was a bolt. What was that? Let me see. Hey, why was there a bolt back here? Oh, come on! Oh, lost it. Yep. All right. Oops. But yeah, this needs to be like this. See? It's got a, it's got a little pin right there. And if this is not up, it will not work. Ask me how I know. Auto Auction Rebuilds, he just had one. He just bought one newer than mine, but there we go. That needs to be like that so the top can work. So let's see if it runs and if the top works. All right, let's put a jump booster going. Let's see what it does. Oh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Whew. See how many miles? I don't even know how many miles it has. No, it's one of those that don't light up. Should have like 160. Uh, 
auto. How do I turn it off? Ah, there we go. Off. All right, guys, I'm scared. Let's turn it over. Wow, no gas? Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Oh, there's no power steering. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's my car. I can rev it as much as I want. Cool, it's not gonna run that long. I can't run it that long. It's on booster pack. There's no alternator running. Wow, hell yeah. 350 bucks, buddy. Sweet. No check engine light. Hell yeah. All right, now let's see if the AC works. I know, I know I shouldn't be doing this. Ooh, I just heard it kick in. Oh, there's gonna be no AC. There's no belt. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, let's turn it off. Take it off the trailer, and then we'll do the top. And we're back. Another day here. Bobby's backyard. The 2003 CLK convertible. The A208, I think. We got ourselves a new adjuster, new head emblem, hood emblem, a belt. This thing should be on the road. And then like you saw in the other clip, did get a uh, trunk. I love this color. This color is so badass. Wish I could get one this color. But uh, yeah, got the trunk. That'll be another day. Different video, because like I said, it's hot. Plus I gotta go to a wedding. That's gonna be fun, haven't been out in a while. A little date night with the wife. But uh, yeah, let's see how we can get that adjuster down there. I saw the bolts. And everything shouldn't be too hard i think i gotta get it from down below so wish me luck be right back okay we uninstalled the old one here's the old one actually it blew up doesn't even spin anymore yeah bearing is locked up so yeah they really did a number on that so let's put on the new one and the new belt and we should be uh rolling we'll take a test drive see if ever if it shifts all the gears and ac works and all that Ooh. Whew, it is hot out here. All right, we got the new belt on there, as you can see. And the new tensioner down there. Should run good now. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Let's put the hood emblem on real quick. I do want to buff it out, though, before I put it on. I don't know. We'll see. It's been bugging me. Oh, thanks, alarm. Um, but, yeah. I'm going to use uh, this. The puller. Pull it out see how it comes out be right back damn not bad at all pulled it out pretty good now I just got to go inside and push this from the inside out so came out pretty good all right uh, got the new belt on and everything like that I put like two gallons of gas and the gas gauge doesn't work so that sucks um, and as for the top the top doesn't want to work either but it's got cold AC it's got cold AC so i think it doesn't have hydraulic fluid i think because let me show you what it does i turn it on oh let's start it up yeah let me do the round and around turn off those lights there we go see off cool no lights on the dash and I found out how many miles it has. It has 162, 610. At nighttime, you can see it. But yeah, smooth idle. AC works. Turn that on. Wow, it's got heated seats. Cool, cool. Um, let's see. But yeah, let me show you with the top. It lowers all the, let me do the, see? Lowers all the windows. And then I can do that. And then I do the, I hear it click and I hear a motor running, but nothing. Sucks. And the trunk release doesn't work. I think that's another reason why it doesn't uh, work. I think the trunk release needs to be unlocked. So I think I'm going to try to fix the trunk first and then the, the convertible top should work. But oh my God, that AC is so nice. And it's cool, 162,000 miles. 
this into repair. Right on. All right, let's wash her up. All right, she's all washed up. Not bad, not bad at all. Paint's not too bad. The hood has been repainted. I'm gonna have to uh, either sand it and color sand it and buff it or just redo the whole thing. I'm not sure yet because I do have to paint the trunk. But yeah, this thing looks nice. Runs so smooth. Wow. Heck yeah. All right, so, so next we're gonna strip the rest of this trunk, sand it down. Take all the wiring out, paint it, uh, undercoat, you know, under, uh, do the, under the trunk, paint it black, paint the outside black, and then slap it on the car and we're done on this build. So let's get working on that, stripping it, painting it, and everything like that. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is another day here on the CLK. As you can see, yes, I got a trunk for, uh, for the CLK. Yeah, I kind of messed up and I misdrilled. I drilled here and I needed to drill here. So that's all right. Put some plugs on there. No problem. Um, but yeah, so today I'm going to scuff these up. Scuff the inside. Scuff the outside. And paint it black. And then hopefully I can get to the headlights. So right now it's all stripped and everything. So I'm going to scuff everything down. Throw some primer on it and then uh, paint it be right back okay scuffed it down put some uh, adhesion promoter on it I know it's metal and stuff but eh, it helps it really does so I got that all that done and I especially this this is plastic so I put some adhesion promoter on that for sure so now I'm just gonna primer it up and then probably put more adhesion promoter it doesn't hurt so let's do this First coat didn't come out too bad. Not bad at all. Cool. Like I said, this is the inside of the trunk. If I need to clear the outside, I'll clear the outside, but heck yeah, it's pretty good. Nice. Let's keep going. And it's starting to sprinkle. Shoot. But got the headlights done. Dang, that thing came out good. Wow. Heck yeah, this one, eh, I think I need to redo it again, but good enough for the inspection. Heck yeah. All right, let's finish the trunk. All right, we got the trunk suspended in the air, ready for paint, prepped it, threw some bulldog on it, let that dry, primer it, paint it, be done with this. Heck yeah. All right. Put a couple of coats of black not too bad not too bad i'm still gonna throw some clear on there just to make it extra shiny match the rest of the car but yeah that's not bad all right we'll be back after i shoot the clear we'll check it out again heck yeah Woo! throwing on that clear was a good idea wow check that out heck yeah Woo! nice all right probably slap this on tomorrow. okay while the hood is or the, hood, the trunk is drying over there let's uh start taking this one apart you gotta take off the antenna you gotta take off the third brake light it's really hard to take this one off it's not easy this should be pretty easy this i already take took off and was hot take off the inner tail lights take off this little uh piece um and then uh yeah look at this got that to work so it pops open now so that's cool and then I gotta take this latch off this this inner button and everything like that so I'm gonna start taking off the inner carpet I already got all the pieces right there so let's get to it all right I got the inner carpet out as you can see it's not the greatest paint in here also so no <laughs> So, got this unplugged. Got to take out the inner tail lights. Eight millimeter, eight millimeter, eight millimeter there. Two eight millimeters. They pop out. This one is torques right here. Slides out. You pull this. 
Let's see. pull this little uh, clip right there. Undo that, unclips it. This one, just pull this, unclips out. Two torques, this comes out. Unplug the uh, vacuum lines, take all these lines out. This is a bitch. You gotta take the LED out, unplug it, and then there's little clips in here where the little red light comes out, and then there's torques on the other side that hold the housing in. It's a three part uh, assembly and disassembly. So let's keep on disassembling. Okay, we got ourselves a trunk that is naked and off. Third brake light gave me trouble. These little bolts right here. Yeah, they stripped out, broke, had to drill them out. So I don't know how I'm going to attach it now on the new one. I didn't grab the third brake. brake I can't talk. Didn't take the third brake light off of the other one. So, yep, I think it's dry enough. I'm going to throw it on the car. Put it on, and I'll figure out what to do with the third brake light. Might get some longer screws, thicker, and just do it that way. So, all right, so let's put on the uh, new used trunk. All right, new trunk installed, no lash. That's why it's not sitting all the way, but dang, for a rattle can, matches. Matches pretty damn good. Not bad. All right, let's put it together some more. This is cool. I've never done that rattle can and then clear. <laughs> oh man, cool. Got it all complete. Got everything adjusted. Yeah, this thing's nice. Got everything out. Still have to vacuum everything out, but check this out. Close this. All the lines match. Heck yeah. Even repainted the little antenna. I figured something out here, so these are good. Got the emblem on. Now I just need to get the license plate. Need a tail light, but I can pass inspection, I think. Can't even tell. Nobody knows that it's cracked. Everybody that's seen it, I had to point it out. But dang, check it out. And check this out. It also works now. Yeah. And with the remote also now too. Check this out. Cool. So yep, this car is complete. All I gotta do is uh, buff it out, ceramic coat it, and it's done. Heck yeah, quick rebuild. Interior, doesn't need much. It's pretty clean. Oh yeah, and I also got the 38 pin connector for it. So I'm gonna do more stuff on it on the next video. There'll probably be one more video after this one, quick one, quick uh, detail inside and out, and do the outro. Heck yeah, this thing's coming out. I still haven't figured out the top, but I've eliminated a lot of uh, codes. So like I said, the next video will probably be the top, interior, buff it out, and we're done with this car. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And it is the next day here, and I think I'm going to end the video here. Uh, put the letters on, CLK430, they look good. I put two caps right there, and when you put the license plate on, covers it, so win-win. Still got to get a little rubber piece here, but like I said, still got to figure out the top, and I think I know what's wrong with it. Uh, got to reset the headrests, and these don't recline. The little mechanism pulls it. I tried uh, adjusting them and everything, so I have to figure that out. And the motor blew out going forward. It goes backwards, up, down, recline, uh, motorized recline up, up this way, but it doesn't fully recline. So that's going to be a whole video on its own. So, like I said, do the interior, exterior, top, seats, part two. But other than rebuilding it, putting a new trunk in, fixing the front end that's all complete the rebuild is done but i gotta just do minor things if i want to sell it somebody's gonna want to use the top i don't want to use the top and you can't get nobody in the back because the seats don't recline forward so with that done and yeah this faded out that's all right they all fade out 
all right so that's gonna end Bobby's backyard today if you enjoyed this video please like share consider subscribing over there on the corner and if you have thank you for the support please comment down below really helps the channel share with all your friends talk to you guys later Thank <laughs> you.